In this episode I'm going to try to explain the basics of the quickest way to do plunder farming, uh, plunder skull farming, because I think there's been some kind of confusion, especially when I see people um, jumping from dolmen to overworld boss to delve boss and then they don't happen to get the plunder skulls. Um, and that is because there's a three minute timer. That three minute timer basically locks you out from getting any more plunder skulls. So you can only ever get one plunder skull every three minutes, no matter the source. And I found the quickest way is basically just jumping between dolmen and bosses. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to pop a quick witch mother's potion sprue. Um, and then we're just going to jump into the fight here. I think we're a bit too late for this one though. <laughs> or maybe not, because I think we joined this fight a bit too late. So we'll have to see, but there's a ton of people here, but there will be. Um, no, there we go, we've got plunder skull. So what happens now, as soon as you get your plunder skull, start yourself a timer, like I do it on my phone through a stopwatch, but you can use any other method that works for you. And basically, you just want to wait until three minutes are up. So I'm obviously currently in Shadowfen right now. And what I like to do is go from this dolmen up until this boss at the slaver camp and basically wait it out. So if someone happens to be doing the same thing, well, you can't really do anything else, so just jump. Bosses tend to spawn quite frequently, especially dolmens. Um, so what we'll basically do is just rotate, obviously waiting for that timer. So when you're in a group, you just let them know. Uh, So now we've got basically two minutes left, so I'm just letting the group know. Um, and that is basically the time until we are safe to loot another skull. And you can do this obviously in whichever way works best for you. Um, I've just chosen Shadow Fen because I kind of like it here. It's somewhat less populated, but you can basically go anywhere. What you really want to look for is somewhere that's got a dolmen. Um, and then there's a boss nearby. In this case I'll rotate from bottom dolmen to the boss to the other boss and basically make a circle around there um, obviously every three minutes and you can start the timer sooner so if you've got two minutes to go you can already start attacking the boss uh, because chances are unless there's a lot of people you're not going to take the boss down in a minute. So I'm just going to head up to this boss um, to check it out, maybe there are already people here, maybe it's down and I'll have to rotate to the next boss. But if you can just keep this up, um, okay, as you can see, someone's already started here. Um, so we're gonna wait it out because there's still one minute left. And if we kill the boss now, we get nothing. So it's completely pointless. Um, and if you can just like time this perfectly, you're able to get the maximum amount of skulls possible. It's like the fastest way. So 50 more seconds and I can jump into this fight. I would help the person out, but the best I can do is give them heals. Um, otherwise I'll be shooting myself in the foot, basically. <laughs> there are way more populated areas in the world. I heard Aridon and other places are insane with up to like 50 people in that. And apparently in groups, large groups such as that, you will only ever get um, a skull if you're in a top 10. Okay, we got 20 seconds left. Hopefully this person doesn't manage to finish them off in that time. Oh dear, I was cutting it very short. <laughs> we got okay, we're going to have to start now. And let's hope that the timer was just right, because this was cutting it very short. And there you go, we've got a plunder skull. It's that simple. And then what we'll do now basically is rotate to the next boss. Um, or you can wait for the dolmen, depending on how fast people are clearing it in this zone. So you can basically switch around and choose whichever works for you. Um, I could wait for the dolmen, but something tells me it's not as heavily populated. So it may take a while five to seven minutes so we're quicker starting off going to the next boss and obviously remember as soon as you've killed that boss reset your timer 
because you want to know exactly when those three minutes are up and no sooner. If it's any sooner, like I said, you're not going to get anything and then it's completely pointless. So what's cool is it doesn't matter the distance on the map. If it takes you two, three minutes getting there, that's fine. Then you can immediately start attacking the boss. You've wasted zero time whatsoever. And it's quite a cool thing. I mean, people are generally trying to farm and trying to find the quickest way. But there isn't really a quicker way. It's always going to be three minutes. And as long as, you know, you're actively focusing on getting it in those three minutes, um, there's no point in trying to rush it. Like, you can go and do delves, you can do quests. I mean, you can take it as an opportunity to... Um, you know, explore places you haven't been. For example, me and Craglaw, and so I could just go through and clear all these and get the achievements if I wanted to. Um, but I really, like I said, I liked it here. Yeah. So just gonna let the group know it's two minutes to drop. So now you can basically just ch chill around, uh, do whatever you need to do, sort your inventory out. That's why I said, even if you're down here, you can make it all the way to the other dolmen and still have time to spare. There's literally nothing you can do to make this process go faster. It's just the way it is. Drops are locked into three minutes. So yeah, take your time, farm mobs, sort the bank out, whatever it is. And then as soon as the timer is ready, go out and just wail on the boss. So this next boss is going to be somewhat harder. Not my favorite overall boss at all. Um, but I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna probably have to switch straight up to heals. Not the best of builds yet either. I'm still waiting so I can get to CP 160 before I actually fully flesh out the character. Okay, so the boss is dead. This is something actually you do want to check. Um, wasting time because I, as you can see the boss hasn't respawned yet and it may and we've still got 40 seconds left so what we can do is quickly just rotate to the next boss so I'm just gonna let them know we're rotating and by the time we get there we should be clear to start um, that was my bad on my part. You always want to check the bosses that they actually are there and keep progress on their health if there are other players attacking. And if you know you're not going to make it within that time, you need to rotate. You need to find a new boss or a new dolmen. I personally don't do delves because I find they're slower, just you know, with the loading screens and all that. Um, so here we go. Hopefully the bosses are up. And we're good to start. So we can just like immediately... Yeah, and this would not be possible on my own. Anya is an absolute and as I say that I get a kill. Oh, it's this mini map constantly updating. So I'm just going to turn that off there. Because that lag was real. Unfortunately, the mini map is switching between the local area map and world map. And I've turned that off so that shouldn't happen again. As I was saying, I wouldn't be able to do this without Anya. She's exceptional when it comes to these things. So the clear speed obviously helps if you've got someone in your group that can also tank and do the damage. Get by as fast as you can. If you're wasting time, that's time that you could be getting another time to skull. So you're also going to want to choose which world bosses you're going to obviously go after at the end of the day because not all of them are easy. Some are really hard, as you can see here. Um, and some are easier. So dolmens definitely are the way to go if you want peace of mind and ease when it comes to that. So I just need to stay alive until she respawns and then we're good. 
cool. So I would recommend us in a group of three. That's what we did yesterday to farm our first 50 skulls. That just ensures that someone always up so that you can also respawn if you get taken out by a boss. Um, and someone just joined us now so that makes this much easier. So once this is done we can head back to the dolmen. That should be up or just rotate with the boss whichever comes back first because remember in those three minutes you're pretty much down and you can do whatever. That's the cool part about doing these rotations. So there we got our skull, we're gonna reset our timer. And just say dolmen number one. Well, dolmen. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're going down there. So obviously there may be more efficient, faster ways to do this. For me personally, as long as you can get that timing down, stay alive in the group and do the rotations, I've found it's the fastest because you can literally be ensuring you start exactly on the three minute mark and you get your plunder skulls. And being in the vicinity of other bosses, uh, as I've said before, gives you the opportunity to... Ah, uh, I mean, I should not have gone this way. Uh, being in the vicinity of other bosses gives you the opportunity to monitor them so in case um, a random horde of players decides to wipe out one boss you can just switch to another or if a dolmen happens to pop up then you know you can just head there as will be the case now so you'll see how this rotation works so we are currently one minute ten seconds in we've still got two minutes fifty seconds before we're eligible for a drop so we got plenty of time and we can just see what our options are. I mean obviously if a dolmen does come up you can um, join if you want just for the experience and just for the dolmen loot boss drops. That's completely up to you. As you can see a dolmen's not up yet. And what I like to do is... Um, I like to dance, yes. <laughs> what I like to do is just chill if the dolmen happens to pop up right now until the timer hits for me. So I've got one minute left and then I'll be either between this one right here, so this dark anchor, um, or the boss which is over here. And obviously since I don't want to waste any time I'm gonna go check the boss out. Because to me right now, I just want to maximize the amount of drops that I get and not waste time because that dolmen could pop in the next two minutes, it could be five minutes, we don't really know because we haven't really paid attention um, since we haven't been there. So what's cool about chilling here is I will be able to see if that dark anchor drops down and then I could just run to it. Because preferably I'd want to get the dark anchor over a world boss just for the extra loot and whatnot. So this world boss is still down and we're eligible for a drop right now. So yeah, it's times like this where we just hope that an anchor is going to pop or a world boss is going to respawn. Um, and that's why you usually want to have, like I said, three options. So right now if there was nothing, but there we go, I just heard the dark anchor and the world boss just respawned. So that was perfect timing. So we just run back to that dolmen and we'll be good to go. These are generally the easiest to do if you're worried that you don't have a group or you want to do some solo playing because there will generally be at least three to five people and that makes it far easier to clear so you don't have to worry about you know if you can't handle it or whatnot. 
The only issue, like I said, with these is that they take a bit longer than the overall bosses to spawn if they haven't been cleared. Because obviously when you close one, another will open somewhere else on the map. So here's the Roman boss that will drop us our thunderstorm. As soon as you've popped it, reset your timer. And you're good to go. And there's our thunderstorm. Tons of people. <laughs> and this is why they clear so fast. And this is, I'd like to think, a less well-known area. I mean, you can do this anyway. It's not exclusive to one area, but obviously someone will post something about you should try it here, you should try it there, it's faster here. There's really no correlation to that. I mean, all you really want to look for is, let's say we look at Oridan, right? I haven't really done a lot of world bosses, but all you're really looking for is a place where you can rotate between three bosses. Um, and remember, there's a three minute timer. So even if you ran from this dolmen to that dolmen, you're good. And in between, you can hit that boss. So you see, you kind of create that triangle and you could take it further, there's a boss there, you could come down here. Obviously keeping in mind the um, the landscape and if you can actually manage to get there, because sometimes obviously uh, you got the mountains and stuff in your way that's blocking you. Um, so what I'm going to do now is rotate over to this world boss which did respawn as soon as that dolmen opened up. Um, so chances are players are already wailing on it because there were like what, at least 20 different players? If not, then perhaps they're not aware of it, perhaps they're doing their own thing, maybe they're just doing dolmen runs, who knows. Um, okay, so still alive, one minute, ten seconds to go. So this will be a really good um, spot for us, as you can see. So this is what you really want to be doing. The maximum efficiency comes from waiting at a boss where your timer is just about to pop it doesn't get faster than that because then you're literally doing it every three minutes so within half an hour you can have 10 skulls which is pretty fast um, but if you just take your time you do the world stuff you do you know dungeons um, you can even do um, pledges those will also drop exceptional so good at the flute. It's like next level. Wow. I bow, bow down to your awesomeness. <laughs> and obviously it helps having someone in your group that you can play with and just get distracted with because it can get monotonous doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, we did the 50 yesterday. So that was quite that was fun actually I think we took about three four hours we, we had a lot of fun quite a bit of role-playing meeting up with other players um, yeah I mean ESO that's what's cool about ESO you can pretty much do anything um, chat to anyone the role-play especially is a lot of fun uh, we're doing a lot of was I think the Argonians were trying to build a wall in reference to Trump and <laughs> dark elves were against that but anyway we're up so we can just start this now and if the other 20 or so players end up clearing as fast as they did earlier then the dolmen next to us here should be up and ready as soon as we've oh dear i hate these burst dps bosses so that's the other thing you need to also choose um which bosses overall bosses are you going to target because some of them are manageable and okay some of them do crazy amounts of burst damage uh, I'm a glass cannon bolt so for me unfortunately I can't tank the damage at all regardless but this is one of the easier of all bosses in Shadowfen the worst being that Daedroth in the cave freaking annihilates you I'm just trying to keep the heals up. If you have self heals, that really also helps. Oh no, 
no, no, don't target me. Oh, look at that. 17k burst damage. Oh, we got this now. Or should I say, Anya has got this like 99% of the time. I'm just here for the lulls. And the dolmen just opened up, so they're seriously on point. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to partake in that dolmen. So we reset our timer. Um, I mean, we can join it just for the sake of joining it. But what I think I'm rather going to do is rotate to the other dolmen. I think that'll be a better call by the time we get there. Because by the time they take that dolmen out, which should be like 40 seconds or so, we can just hope that we've hit the right dolmen. If not, we'll just check whatever boss is closest to there. Because remember, we've got three minutes to kill. And it helps if you've got your max mount upgraded and you can use the PvP buff to basically just get from one point to, to another. And, whoops, don't be an idiot like me and <laughs> get blocked by the landscape ah cuz i wasn't paying attention cuz i have my mini map down because when it updates it causes serious lag um but we're still good on time we've got a minute and a half to go so we should be hundreds Just across the way from here, and did I get screwed by the landscape again? I did, I did, I did. What can I do? Oh, okay, just gonna go around. Should probably help Anya out because of my mess. Nope. Not like she needs my help. <laughs> it's the thought that counts, right? Okay, yeah, and you're going to want to know the layout, obviously, of where you're going. This is not generally part of my rotation, so that's why I'm messing up quite a bit here, trying to get to that dolmen on the other side. And obviously, you can use way shrines. I just prefer to run there because of the timer, but I'm going to have to use a way shrine right now because I completely cocked this up and the timer is up. Well, we'll be up in the next 30 seconds. Let's just run off to this way shrine. And then we're going to want the way shrine closest to whatever target we have set. And just run through an enemy camp because, you know, why not? Here we are. And we're going to want the Storize way shrine. Just let the group know. Oh, she's gonna leave them hanging. And then from here, it's just a quick run to the dolmen. But I don't see the dolmen up, you'll generally see that. Um, so I'm gonna quickly check the boss out instead. Because time is officially up right now. And if the boss is up, well then, cycle to the boss. And the boss is up. So I'm just going to wait for Anya to get here. Because I would not stand a chance at all. Okay, Dolmen's up. So we will rather go to the Dolmen instead. I'll just say Dolmen number two. Oh, 
because like I said I prefer to prioritize dolmens over world bosses just because one it's significantly easier you've got the help of everyone else you have the extra boss loot that you obtain um, and just like the XP and everything it's just win-win and I just gotta figure out where Anya went okay she just bought it good Hopefully she gets here in time. I'm just gonna ease off on the attacks until she does and not close any pinions. Come on ya! Run! 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 Here's a speed Amazing. boost for you. Let's see how you fare against these bombs. Okay, she should be fine now. As long as she gets a hit in on this boss. The lag is real when it comes to other players and all their effects. Cool. And that's it. And uh, we got our plunder skull. Along with several other loot. And that's how easy it is to farm. Um, hopefully you've learned from my mistakes. And whatever ideas you can come up with. And Good luck farming for the achievement. Um, they're well worth it, especially when you open them up and you get um, recipes and whatnot that you can either sell to others and the motifs that you can use to craft in the hollow jack style. Super helpful. So yeah, all of the best to all of you. And happy Witches Festivaling, I guess. <laughs>